Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we have a community replay sent in by Exaflex in the Yellow Emilio. Now a lot of you probably know of the Yellow Emilio and what it is known for. Now it is a quintessential example of a ship that usually gets one run at glory and then dies very quickly thereafter. However, Exaflex is going to uh, demonstrate to perfection the absolute absurdity that is the Yolo Emilio. So, with that being said, let's get right into it. We're all neighbors, and this is going to be a very quick round, by the way. This round is only going to last about 7 minutes and 20 seconds. I know. Crazy. This is ridiculous. So, right off the bat, you can see he's charging towards a Massachusetts. And I believe there's an Otago uh, that went to the other side of the island. Now, because he has teammates that are keeping the Massachusetts lit up, he's able to use his rolling smokescreen to get really stupid close to this Massachusetts. Now, he's playing with fire because if this Massachusetts isn't getting himself into trouble, then he can absolutely get murdered by this Massachusetts secondaries. However, as you can see, Massachusetts running the um, concealment mod, so he's not able to detect the Yolo Emilio in his smoke screen at three kilometers, and he stays just outside of proxy detection, which is two kilometers. He gets his torpedoes away, eight torpedoes down the pike, and absolutely with bad intentions. And uh, sure enough, those are gonna land, and down goes the Massachusetts. But he's not done yet! The Otago managed to turn around and just put himself in a position to get absolutely punished by the second torp tube on the other side of the ship. Remember, Yellow Emilio has two wing torpedo launchers and one centerline torpedo launcher. And here I thought he was dead! Somehow, he manages to avoid getting torped into oblivion. I don't understand it. Those torps look decent and just happen to run underneath the rear of the ship. Uh, I think Exaflex probably about crapped himself. He thought he was dead there. Uh, but he manages to take out the Otago. Otago does not manage to land a single torpedo on Exaflex. Um, and that allows Exaflex to continue his reign of terror. Which now is going to take a moment before he catches up to the rest of the enemy. So while he flies across the map, and I do mean fly, this thing is fully capable of going over 40... I want to say 44 knots. This thing is ridiculously quick as well. There's a reason this thing's called the Yellow Emilio. It's fast and it is ridiculously good at splitting the difference between the enemy. Now you can see he's going full evasive mode. Has no choice. He's got an enemy carrier trying to hunt him down and uh, he's going to make this enemy carrier look like a doof. Now I'll be honest. Here, he probably should just go ahead and turn his... Uh, his AA on. I don't know how much AA this thing actually has, but having your AA on a, on here to defend yourself when you're already spotted and being being targeted, probably a good idea. He did shoot down one plane initially, but I think he's just kind of turned the AA off to avoid him. Now here, he's not detected. He's rushing a Missouri. Remember, Missouri's big thing that has a radar. Okay. A 9.9 9 kilometer radar that lasts a long time. 30 seconds, I believe, if I remember correctly. He also has an Alabama, and so he lines up his first set of corps on the Missouri. Missouri's not an idiot. He sees the Palo Emilio coming, and he starts changing course. I know, it's crazy. But the downside is it's too late. So while he is changing course, and he is going to dodge those first set of torpedoes, keep your eyes on that Alabama, by the way. Unfortunately, he's not going to be able to kill this Yellow Emilio before the Yellow Emilio can kill him. And as we can demonstrate, four torpedoes is plenty to kill a full health battleship. And remember, we get 12 torpedoes. Down goes Missouri. And the torpedoes managed to run out before what would have been an absolute double death strike. The Alabama needs to go, like, play the lottery here. Like, dude literally couldn't have got any closer to being deathstruck without it happening. Fortunately, 
doesn't matter because he's getting death right anyway. And just like that, we're at 176,000 damage and we have killed four enemy ships. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. There's not a whole lot I can say about this other than dude is playing the Yellow Emilio perfectly. Like, this is what this thing thrives on. He has gotten two engagements where he got two dev strikes each. He's at four freaking dev strikes for the match. I know, it's crazy. The power of destroyers. Don't remember, don't forget, battleships are the strongest class in the game. Wink, wink. <laughs> but no, he's gonna, I can't hate, again, I don't hate the player, I hate the game in terms of this is ridiculous. One ship, one little tiny freaking ship should not be able to do this on this game. But, but, it's a thing, it exists, and Exaflex is utilizing it perfectly. Now we have the Saipan. Remember, Saipan, terrifying for most destroyers. Not this one. This one, it just, it, it's constantly able to dodge the shells, and, or the, the bombs and the torpedoes from the Saipan, and uh, now has intercept course laid in, and we all know how this is going to end. This guy goes behind an island, he can no longer uh, be spotted by the team, which means Exaflex gets to just run over here and, and annihilate this guy. Did you, does this look like it wasn't going to happen? Like, no, th this is a guaranteed kill. Like, once you're this close, there's nothing you can do about it. All you can do is hope that you get one good shot in before you die. We've all been here. I've been here. How many times I've been dev struck by this, this freaking destroyer? It, it's insane. He gets his torpedoes away again. You got eight torpedoes headed for a ship that only needs one or two, or two of them to hit. And yeah, there you go. Two hits, dev strike, and that is five dev strikes for the match. Like, good God, man. Thank you so much, XFlex, for sending this one in. And let me know what you guys think about the Yellow Emilio. 3,400 base XP, top of the leaderboard. Five kills. He gets his wicked. And in true dev strike fashion. So, if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button. Leave a comment below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you in the next video.